Hey and welcome. Thanks for watching. My name is Dennis and I'm a developer advocate with Amazon Web Services. Today I'm going to show you how you can transform an unencrypted EBS volume to an encrypted volume. As you all probably know, it's best practice to encrypt all your data at rest. And when you're using Amazon EBS volume, our elastic block store, basically our hard drives in the net, you can use the encryption feature from AWS to encrypt the hard drive. But in some cases, you may have created an unencrypted volume and you want to encrypt it after the fact. And I'm going to show you the two step process that's needed to go from an unencrypted volume to an encrypted volume, because you cannot just take an unencrypted volume and basically switch encryption on that doesn't work. So the two step process is the following. Number one, you have to create a snapshot of your unencrypted volume and that snapshot can then be taken for step number two. And this is create a new encrypted volume from that snapshot. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works now. I've already opened the AWS management console and I'm going to navigate to the EC2 dashboard and scroll all the way down to our Elastic Block Store volumes. You can see I already have an unencrypted EBS volume right here. It says not encrypted. And what I'm going to do now is create an encrypted one using our two step process. The first one, click on actions, make sure the volume is selected, then click on actions, create snapshot. And you can see the snapshot won't be encrypted. We cannot encrypt a snapshot of an unencrypted volume. I'm going to type a quick name, call it unencrypted snapshot. Click on create snapshot. And here we go. I'm going to close this, go over to snapshots and you can see we have our unencrypted snapshot and let's scroll right real quick. It is not encrypted. And now with this snapshot, the second step will be just make sure it's selected, click on actions, create volume. And now you're able to select encrypt this volume. And this is going to take the unencrypted snapshot and create an encrypted volume. I'll scroll down. I will choose a master key. And in this case, I'm just going to use the default AWS EBS master key that exists in my account. And I'll scroll all the way down and click on create volume. Close this. And if I go back to my volumes, you can see I've got two volumes. One is just being created and it is encrypted. I'll give it a name to make it more descriptive. I'll call it encrypted EBS volume. And now I can attach this encrypted EBS volume to my EC2 instance, select the unencrypted volume, make sure the encrypted one is deselected, go to delete volume. And now the unencrypted volume is entirely gone. And you can also go to snapshots and make sure to delete the encrypt, uh, the unencrypted snapshot. So there are no traces left uh, of your unencrypted data. The only thing you have right now is the encrypted EBS volume, and you can just attach that to your EC2 instance like any other one. So just to recap, this is the two step process needed to transform an unencrypted EBS volume into an encrypted volume. Step number one, create a snapshot from the unencrypted volume. Step number two, create a new volume with encryption turned on from that snapshot. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you would like me to talk about and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.